Okay, hi there, Aventon e-bike lovers and friends. This recording is about 10 minutes. Uh, it was recorded on uh, Lebanon Hills uh, mountain bike uh, trail. That's one of those trails in the state of Minnesota, very near to where I live. I live in Apple Valley, so this is about three and a half miles uh, uh, north of, uh, I'm sorry, uh, east of where I live. So this is a pretty nice, large uh, trail. It has a lot of, uh, you know, paths and uh, weird kind of nice wooded areas. Uh, camp, campgrounds, actually I saw somebody, uh, I think with a permit, he had a large uh, tent. So this is, uh, as you see now, right now I just got off, got off the uh, paved road and I started riding around. Actually, right now I came one of those spots where people can sit on benches and do, you know, barbecue and stuff. Uh, see tables. So actually, the tent was right on my, I think, right side, right here. Uh, it was a pretty large tent. I decided to get back because obviously it was the end of that road. Uh, this is one of those uh, nice little campgrounds. And I'm going to continue in the opposite direction to find a different uh, different path. There are various different paths for uh, just walking, walking with a dog, and riding a horse, uh, cross country skiing, all those all those activities activities. So, yeah, yeah. First off, you know you're going to be hearing a lot of rattling because uh, obviously the road itself is is not paved, and my tire pressure was a little. I should have actually reduced the tire pressure to. Uh, have a little better grasp on the road and reduce maybe possibly reduce a little bit of a shaking and plus the the smartphone put on the case uh, which is fixed to the handlebar uh, there's a little magnet to hold the uh, phone in place to kind of reduce the uh, amount of rattling and that wasn't done properly so yeah that is the portion uh, unfortunately but again still you know given a good I think good idea and uh, right now, I, I was really testing my brakes because, you know, they're super sharp. Like you see, this is one of them, sharp turns and a lot of uh, steep downhills and steep uphills. So <clears throat> I really tested my bike, my Aventon uh, Aventure, uh, to go through these. And it basically, with to my 100% satisfaction, I could say, 100% satisfaction, it passed all these tests uh, right now actually I just climbed one of those steep uh, slopes it is not as easy to realize uh, the steepness and slope uh, you know the grade of it but I think it was about uh, 9 to 12 percent according to my uh, bike application it shows as anywhere between 9 to 12 percent that was a level of grade which is not too bad you know it's pretty steep actually so the combination I was using the uh, pedal assist level 5 and gear I was keeping the gear here at 1 obviously to be able to control the bike going down um, I was particularly controlling trying to control the bike because you know it was uh, sometimes you know the, given the nature of the road there was lots of holes drops <coughs> turns it was making it you know tougher so I, I couldn't get exceed certain amount of speed obviously so uh, gear level, uh, number one was to me uh, I think the best uh, level of speed as far as uh, gears go uh, oh this is uh, again the name of the place the uh, trail is called Lebanon Hills there is another area that's the paved section of it where I'm gonna try another uh, speed test it's really long and pretty steep so I'm gonna go ahead and try another time uh, this time I decided not to and I just want to ride around here uh, in the woods uh, following the paths and uh, you know uh, sharing the view it's really nice as you see a peaceful uh, really nice appearance so it was actually pleasant, uh, well, although at times it was challenging. So uh, one of the things you know uh, I noticed was there's a lot of flies. Uh, 
actually at some point I think you know one or two on, on one or two occasions you know uh, uh, a couple of flies you know got in my mouth so I had to <laughs> cough and spit a lot so the other thing I really like to mention and share with the Aventon uh, owners is the the battery on the bike given the amount of shake and you know shaking and rattling I noticed that and this happened second time the battery actually came off another time it came off and actually at the end of my ride you know it fell off the frame and that was very disappointing right I mean you just don't expect the battery falling off the you know off the frame especially that the, the Aventon built it such a way that you know you can actually there is a com, you know a compartment to put the battery in and it's locked in its place and you can use you got to use a key right to to remove the battery so you know it gives an idea a feeling that it's pretty sturdy but again you know after that experience I started using a tape not a duct tape because I don't want to remove the you know take the finish off but I'm using a masking tape it's not uh, damaging the finish yet it is uh, strong enough to hold it because I just put it right beneath the uh, lock which is the top section of the, you know, where, where it's snapping actually to, to inside, the, inside the compartment. And uh, I found that at the end of this ride that the battery actually kind of came off, but it didn't fall because the, the masking tape was holding it in its place. But that was uh, kind of disappointing. I think, you know, any, anybody with Aventon Aventure should be aware of this. And in fact, the company, I think, should be aware of this that you know uh, in this kind of an environment where there's a lot of you know uh, rattling and shaking uh, in the nature that one can actually lose the battery which is very very unpleasant experience so that's something that I want to share uh, with, with the e-bike lovers uh, Aventon owners uh, so there are two purposes actually to this video one was actually sharing that because I was curious about that how it was gonna how my battery was gonna handle because uh, I haven't seen any 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 Aventon, and I watched ton of them, lots of videos on YouTube, and I haven't seen any anybody, you know, talking about complaining about you know losing their battery. So looks like maybe I don't know if I'm on you know, the only one or not, but it happened to me. So that's that's the that's one of the uh, intents of you know uh, sharing this video. So. Uh, like I said, you know, there are those signs you've seen. There's a, this is a map there. Um, little signs. Uh, some of them are showing, like, you know, it's the wrong way, for instance, for cross country skiing and things like that. Um, it's a real, it's a real large trail. It has various, you know, entry points and exit points. So, right now I'm kind of, you know, gaining speed going downhill. There you go. And sometimes you know it's kind of a little bit blurring the, the, the picture is getting a little blurred <clears throat> I think it's a combination of I don't know my uh, the shaking amount of shaking and the stabilization function on my smartphone probably is uh, somehow being overwhelmed you know, so it's a little bit fuzzy sometimes but in general overall I think it's good you know giving a good good idea the picture uh, like I said this is um, <laughs> the, the trail is right next to the trail I saw a bunch of uh, RVs a lot of people parked there uh, they're kind of enjoying I think their time around the park and also this is uh, very close to to uh, Minnesota Zoo uh, in the same area that's also about three miles away from my house so another time actually I'm planning on doing that going to Minnesota Zoo riding around there and then making another video of that so um, on a couple occasions you know I mean it's it's not a good idea to do this uh, it's kind of you know you know dark I mean not dark dark but let's say you know right now it's uh, end of September here in Minnesota the sunset is official you know 715 or so so you know uh, you don't want to do that after that time because there is a lot of on this road uh, you know drops holes uh, if you don't pay attention, you can easily lose balance. Right now, I finished my ride, and okay, there you go. That's the end of it. Yep, got on, got on the asphalt, the paved road. I'm gonna stop here.